3D Quill and Ink Love Letter Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi everybody, in today's video I have my second Valentine's Day design of this year and this is kind of a old-fashioned classic looking love note that has a little inkwell and then a quill pen and a scroll and then written on the scroll is a little double heart pattern. I really like this, it's very simple, it's kind of on the extreme side, but the actual work of it is really easy to do. So if you are looking to do something kind of crazy, I would highly recommend it. I hope you guys like it as much as I do. And don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos Bye. as well. Bye. Bye. I'm going to begin with an overlay of a cover pink acrylic over the background. If this was part of a set and you wanted to have the same background color as the rest of them, that is certainly possible or logical. For me, I just wanted to kind of be disappearing in the background so that all of the little 3D pieces that I created would really stand out and be super visible. So I've got that little background base done. Apply that. You don't have to worry about encasing it. Cover Pink is plenty strong on its own. And then I'm going to be filing the nail into shape with my e-file, starting out with a coarse bit just to smooth out any bulk and then going on to a finer bit to smooth out the surface texture and make sure that the nail is all clean and pretty. And after you are done with that, then I'm going to start sculpting all of my little pieces on a nail form backing. To make the quill or the feather of the, of the quill pen, I'm going to be just starting out with a feather shape, a very basic feather shape with a cream color acrylic. And after you have that basic feather shape down, then you're going to want to take the very tip of your brush and gently pull out the barbs of the feather. So just like so, just kind of pull it out a little bit, create a crevice down the center of the feather for where the quill will be, and then take a piece of wire, we will do that in a moment, take a piece of wire to make the actual quill. Now to form the inkwell, I'm going to take a large bead of clear acrylic and just plop that down on the nail form backing, leave it for about 30 seconds so that it starts to solidify, and then start pushing it in from the sides. And just go around and around in a circle, pushing it in, pushing it in, pushing it in, so you get this nice tall cylinder shape. And then after you have that, you're going to want to take a dotting tool and press in for the center for where you'd actually have the ink in there. And it got stuck to my dotting tool inevitably. Make sure that you dip your dotting tool into some clear acrylic or some acrylic powder so that it doesn't get stuck. And then I'm going to take some black acrylic and just fill in for the actual little bit of ink that's in there. And I'm going to take and sculpt a long white rectangle with well, white acrylic, obviously, and that's going to be for my scroll. So I'm going to start, and I did a couple different beads of white acrylic just to sort of get enough on there, and you're going to want to make it significantly longer than what you want the scroll to be in the end. Right now, it's not quite there yet. I added more in a moment. You'll see. So just start out. Mine's about a square right now, but just make it as long as you possibly can, pretty much with that first little bit of acrylic, and just pull it out into that nice long rectangle and then as this is beginning to set then you're going to roll it up so the fact that you're rolling it is why you need it to be longer than you want your scroll to be on the nail so just press that out and then take the tip of your brush and just kind of very gently roll it up and try to roll it so it almost goes off to one side because that'll give it a little bit more of that iconic scroll look and then repeat on the other side add a little bit more of that white acrylic so that it's nice and plenty long enough smooth that out so there's not a weird gap or weird space between the original acrylic you placed down and this new wet acrylic that you have and just hold that there wait 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 let it solidify let it cure up a little bit and then press it out make sure that you don't try to rush this process because if you try to roll up the acrylic when it's too wet it's just going to melt kind of on you and it's going to give you not really the look you're going for. While you're waiting for that to work or to solidify, you can go ahead and glue a piece of wire onto your feather for the quill. So just glue that down and it won't take too much effort there. And then go ahead and roll up your scroll. This time try to roll it so that it curves off or that it leans off to the opposite side of the first one. So as you can see, the one goes off to the right, the other one goes off to the left. That's kind of the goal. Then I'm going to be gluing that little scroll onto the nail as well as the rest of the pieces. A little bit of glue for your inkwell. Hold that in place. The glue is just a temporary hold. You're going to secure everything down with some clear acrylic in a moment and then place your quill onto the paper so that it looks like it's currently writing it's currently in that writing motion hold it there like so then you're going to want to take clear acrylic and just secure everything in place because that nail glue is just i don't know it's not very permanent it's so temporary that it yeah you want to make sure that it lasts a little bit longer so just fix anything up with some clear acrylic that you think needs it and i'm going to take red and black paint and i'm going to be adding the lines that my little ink is my little ink is painting with or drawing with or writing with whatever you want to call it. so take and do a double heart just like so where the lines both end at the quill 
just go ahead and make sure that they connect there. Otherwise, they can have a little bit of separation on them. Then I'm going to be adding some more details with acrylic paint to the feather. I'm going to start with some brown that's diluted and just add some really nice soft lines to it just to give it a little bit more, a little more pizzazz. Add some length to the quill up farther on the feather with black paint and then apply some gel sealer over the background to make sure it's nice and shiny. Also do that over the inkwell. So you want that to look like it's glass and shiny and then also take gel sealer and apply that over your ink marks so they look like they're wet like they were just in the process of being written which I absolutely love the way that looks because it looks it really does look like this is a scene that was paused mid motion. Apply some matte top coat over the feather and you're all done. I love this. It's so simple and elegant and it's actually fairly easy to do. So if you guys would love to do a recreation, I'd absolutely love to see them and I will see you in my next video. Bye.